So let's do some quick examples. So let's calculate the clearance for creatinine. So in our example from the last video, we said that the concentration of creatinine in the blood was going to be about 1 milligram per deciliter. And we said that as a result of that, the amount of creatinine that you're going to urinate out per minute is going to be about 1 milligram per minute. And so if you take care of all the units here, you end up finding that this is equal to 1 deciliter per minute, which in terms of milliliters is 100 milliliters per minute. And what you might notice is that this 100 milliliters per minute is actually something special. That's actually equal to the GFR. We said this person had a GFR of 100 milliliters per minute. And that actually is not by coincidence. It turns out that for any substance that's freely filtered, like creatinine was, and that is not reabsorbed, and that is not secreted, and this is where we cheated a little bit with creatinine because it actually is slightly secreted, but here when we said we're urinating out a milligram per minute, we were assuming that it's actually not secreted. So for any substance which follows these three rules, its clearance is equal to its GFR. Okay, so now let's do another example. Let's say, let's do the clearance of urea. So in this case, the example numbers that we gave last time were to say maybe you would excrete 5 milligrams per minute and the concentration in the blood was 10 milligrams per deciliter. Well then this ends up giving you about 0.5 deciliters per minute and in terms of milliliters that's 50 milliliters per minute. And so what you'll notice is that this is less than GFR. And so the idea is that the clearance of urea is less than the clearance of creatinine. And on an intuitive level that makes sense. And the reason is when you filter urea in the glomerulus, some of that gets reabsorbed. So not everything gets excreted. So because of that, you're clearing out your blood less efficiently than you would if none of it was reabsorbed. And so the idea is that we can say that if something is freely filtered, but this time if it is reabsorbed, then you can say that the clearance is going to be less than the GFR.